believe what this robot just did. It was lying flat on its back, then BAM! In less than two seconds, it jumped to its feet with no hands at all. The Unitree G1 robot just pulled off a kung fu move no other robot has ever done before. It's like watching a machine turn into a human athlete right before your eyes. Unitree Robotics introduced the G1 humanoid robot in May 2024. The robot stands 1.32 meters tall, approximately 4 feet 3 inches, and weighs 35 kilograms. The company launched mass production of the G1 in August 2024 with a base price of $16,000. This price point positions the G1 significantly below competitors like Boston Dynamics Atlas, which carries an estimated price tag of $140,000 to $150,000. The G1 operates with between 23 and 43 degrees of freedom, depending on configuration. The base model provides 6 degrees of freedom per leg, 5 per arm, and 1 inch the waist. The EDU Ultimate version expands to 43 total degrees of freedom by adding multi-jointed hands with 7 degrees of freedom each and additional axes in the waist and wrists. Each leg retains 6 degrees of freedom, the waist gains 3 total degrees of freedom, and each arm adds a 2-axis wrist plus the dexterous hand. This kinematic configuration enables human-like movement patterns and complex manipulation tasks. The joint motors utilize low-inertia, high-speed permanent magnet synchronous motors, known for fast response and efficient heat dissipation. The G1 EDU's knee actuators deliver up to 120 newton meters of torque, significantly higher than the base model's 90 newton meters. Each joint incorporates dual encoders for accurate movement tracking. A local air cooling system maintains optimal performance under load. The motors enable the G1 to walk at speeds up to 2 meters per second, equivalent to 7.2 kilometers per hour or 6.5 feet per second. Each arm can handle loads of approximately 3 kilograms in the ultimate version. Power comes from a rechargeable 13-cell lithium-ion battery rated at 9,000 milliamp hours. The battery provides approximately 2 hours of continuous operation. The quick-release smart battery design allows rapid swapping to minimize downtime. An 8-core high-performance CPU handles real-time control and sensor processing. The EDU Ultimate package includes an NVIDIA Jetson Orin module rated at 100 tops for AI computing tasks. The sensor suite defines the G1's environmental awareness capabilities. A 3D LiDAR system detects distant obstacles and maps the surrounding environment. An Intel RealSense D435 depth camera provides close-range spatial information, a noise-canceling microphone array enables voice command recognition. These sensors feed continuous data streams to the control system, allowing the robot to build and maintain an internal model of its environment and physical state. The dual encoder system at each joint provides precise feedback on position and velocity. This sensor fusion enables the robot to react quickly to external forces and maintain balance under dynamic conditions. The training methodology represents a fundamental shift in robotics development. Unitree trains the G1 using NVIDIA's Isaac Simulator. The process begins in a virtual environment where a digital twin of the robot exists before any physical prototype. Engineers use motion capture technology, specifically the LaFan 1 system, to record human movements with high precision. The digital twin observes these movements through motion and video data. Reinforcement learning algorithms refine the robot's responses within the simulator. The robot performs actions, receives rewards for successful behaviors, and penalties for failures. This trial and error process allows the AI to identify optimal movement patterns. The SIM2 real transfer process then applies the learned behaviors to the physical robot. Unitary released an open-source full-body motion dataset captured using LayFan, one motion capture technology, to facilitate this training. The dataset includes a redirection algorithm that integrates interactive mesh processing and inverse kinematics. The algorithm optimizes motion by considering posture constraints, joint positions, and velocity limits. According to Unitary, continuous algorithm upgrades enable the G1 to learn and perform virtually any movement. In March 2025, the G1 performed the KIPUP demonstration that garnered international attention. The movement requires the robot to coordinate its entire body, generate sufficient force to propel itself upward, and maintain balance upon landing. 
The same demonstration video showed the G1 performing Tai Chi movements alongside a human partner with synchronized timing. When kicked from behind during walking, the G1 instinctively regained balance using its legs, arms, and torso in a reflex pattern that mimics human responses. A video released in February 2025 showed the G1 executing Kung Fu moves, including precision punches and roundhouse kicks while maintaining balance. The robot demonstrated the ability to recover from slips and external disturbances. In April 2025, Unitry released footage of the G1 throwing punches at a human sparring partner with controlled force and precision. The company titled the announcement, Unitry Iron Fist King Awakening, signaling their entrance into robotic combat demonstrations. On the 25th of May 2025, the Hangzhou Met Combat Arena hosted the world's first humanoid robot boxing match. Organized by Unitary Robotics as part of the China Media Group World Robotics Tournament, the event featured G1 robots competing in tournament-style matches. The robots utilized LAFAN, one motion capture technology, to replicate human boxing movements. The final bout ended in a knockout when one G, one robot, delivered a blow that sent its opponent to the floor, marking the first recorded knockout in humanoid robot combat. The standing side flip demonstration showcased even greater technical complexity. Unlike a backflip where the robot maintains forward-facing orientation throughout, a side flip requires the robot to rotate laterally while maintaining spatial awareness and landing control. The G1 performed this movement without malfunction or damage, highlighting the durability of its 43-joint motor system. Boston Dynamics Atlas has demonstrated similar acrobatic capabilities, but Unitary achieved this at a fraction of the cost. In October 2025, Unitary released a video titled Kung Fu Kid V60 showing the G1 performing advanced martial arts moves in rapid succession. The 45-second demonstration featured high kicks, spins, punches, one-legged balances, rapid kicks, low sweeps, somersaults, aerial twists, and backflips. Unitary confirmed no speed-ups were used in the video. The robot used its arms for balance during complex actions involving backflips and somersaults. Interesting. Engineering reported that the humanoid executed all complex actions at commendable rapidity. A viral video from September 2025 showed researchers in Shenzhen kicking Unitree's G1 robot nine times during a violence test. The robot stumbled but always regained its balance. Trained in simulation through reinforcement learning, G1 learned countless ways to recover before trying them in real life. The G1 also shocked viewers by doing a 720-degree spin kick while someone struck it with a stick. Reflections in nearby glass proved the footage was real, not CGI. Unitary later warned fans not to try such stunts at home. In another study, Carnegie Mellon University used a system called HDMI, Humanoid Imitation for Interaction, to teach a G1 variant daily human tasks from videos. The robot copied human motion, learned object handling, and completed 67 real-world door passes plus several manipulation tasks, all without extra training. Unitary co-founder Ackles Chen said their humanoids are built for dangerous, dirty, and boring jobs in factories, hospitals, and homes. A new 10,000-square-meter factory in Zhejiang will expand production. By making its own motors and controlling assembly, Unitary keeps a strong lead in China's fast-growing humanoid race. As algorithms evolve, the line between human and machine movement grows thinner every day.